cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. Green Planet. Yes, we do. Uh, I'm actually uh, Big Green Earth. Oh, Green Earth, sorry. Yeah, not a problem, but I can tell you lots about that. Yeah. Big Green Earth, uh, we're based out of uh, north of Toronto, Ontario. Um, what we're doing is we're bringing a natural, organic, fermented fertilizer to the cannabis market. Very nice. We're getting back to the, the way things used to be done you know, 200 years ago before the advent of uh, salts and different nutrients. Very different nutrients and All natural. All natural. We use a wheat bran base and we inoculate it with a bunch of probiotics, beneficial fungi, minerals, vitamins, amino acids, organic whole food complex. And we ferment that down. It kind of breaks everything down to its building block. And then you can use it as a soil amendment, you can use it as a top dressing, you can actually make a compost tea out of it. Are these samples? I can take one Absolutely. Of these? So, so. Uh, my name is Richard, we have a YouTube channel called Rich TV Live. Awesome. We, we uh, talk about cannabis every day on our channel and uh, we work with a lot of licensed producers. So they're always looking for companies like yours. Uh, you guys are private? Actually, we're on corporate, yeah, and uh, we, we take three plan is taking this on as an exclusive distributor. So. Very, yeah. very, very good. So, uh, yeah, very good. Yeah. So, if there's any way that we can maybe do some business or collaborate, then I'll stay with you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Perfect. Thanks. Nice meeting you, Gary. My name is Richard from Rich TV Live. Rich TV Live. Yes. in Tampa Bay. I was flying out that day. <laughs> oh, I, I heard about it, yeah. Small world. So, the next one, I've already got this pre-programmed. My liquid control sensor is a nutrient I call it moisture control sensor, right? It's going to detect that point of evaporation and stop the earth, right? It won't boil, it won't burst, it'll notice the evaporation because of the sensor in the back here. It stops the, the vacuum and goes right into seal. This is one reason a bunch of the blue colors I can't say it. And the A's is the A's the name, right? Uh, the only guy I can mention is AG Medica. They, they're using a smaller model over there. No spell. Another one that everybody's using is the soft air sensor. Soft uh, our company is GBS. Uh, we're a national su a supplier for 11 different brands of uh, equipment nationwide. Um, one of them is Henkelman. Um, and Henkelman, they do 65% of the global supply for vacuum systems in the world, actually. Very nice. And are you guys public or private? Uh, we're private. private. We're a family. family. Very nice. We have a family service. Yeah. Excellent. Are you looking to go public soon? No. No, no I don't no. believe so. You're going to stay on the private <laughs> side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. And where are you guys located? Vancouver? Uh, Oakville, Ontario. Oakville, Ontario. Ontario. There we go. Excellent. Okay, here is Sproutly. This is the Sproutly booth. Rich TV Live was the first one to bring Sproutly to you guys. There's the Canadian symbol, SPR. Canvas has a medicine and a little bit of a medicine. And in order for doctors to be 
What we've seen is countries such as Germany have been very receptive to what Canada has done. And you see that anywhere around the world that you go, that the Canadian model and the opportunity to provide research, which will then trigger the physicians and their um, level of comfort around being able to prescribe cannabis as a medicine because of this deeper understanding, uh, will open up legislation. Culture always swings way before the politics do, right? Way before legislation swings. And the thing that we have going for us in, in this industry is that the stigma around cannabis has lifted. You know, again, in, in this last year, I think, Stephen, you can back me up on this because I don't want to spill facts um, that may be questioned later, but I think in the last year, we've seen more change and more advancement and more money spent in the cannabis industry than in the previous decade combined. Yeah, like at the start of last year, there was eight countries in Europe that was legal. By the end of it, there was 19. So, you know, that's one market alone with 100 and what 10 percent change. So, you can see it, it, it's, it's 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 we're really we're reaching a tipping point now with within within the cannabis industry that uh, events like this, you know, the scale and the size and the sophistication. Is, 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 is only going to uh, rapidly grow and that's something that is usually exciting and not just for Canada so far as how Canada takes this uh, global leadership position and rolls it, or rolls it out across the world but also how from, from, a, from an investment point of view it understands what the next 10 years uh, is going to look like for cannabis. For um that, that I'm saying that the Canadian LPs currently should get the credit for this leadership. Uh, at at Zenibus, we're fully grounded and, and rooted in the fact that there was pioneers way before the LPs arrived on the scene that helped promote this as medicine, that helped uh, break the stigma, that paid the cost for LPs today to be able to enjoy um, the, the fruits of their uh, labor and their passion, which was, you know, going to jail for making medicine for their kids or their wives or their loved ones. Um, so uh, at Zenibus, we have the Zenibus Craft Grow program, which is specifically designed uh, without us or our branding or any of that in mind, but specifically to bring in and bring along and be collaborative and inclusive and show respect to the pioneers that came before us and give them a vehicle, if they so choose to partner with us, to enter into the, 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 the adult use recreational market in Canada or the medicinal market, whatever they choose. But we want to make sure that we uh, help uh, the pioneers of the industry. Great, thank you. Okay, so with the changing landscape... Uh, the fragmented health system with, with a huge private actors, hospitals, physicians, insurance companies, pharmacies, and the other hand, the public health market with six sub-systems in, in, in this public health system. So it is important to understand all the environment, the economical, the social, and the political environment in Mexico to start with the medical health. On the other hand, the repressional cannabis wouldn't have Richard. Nice to meet you. Thank you.